Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, hope you enjoy the conference today so far. And uh, today I'm going to share a few slides about uh, our new Innovation and Jumpstart program. So every city has its own smart city aspirations. And uh, smart cities covers many different aspects of society. And our goal is to translate these aspirations into actionable real-world initiatives. And to achieve that, we aim to en enable a smarter community by connecting content and providing context. Now, throughout the years, Esri Singapore has been supporting innovation through many different forms. And some of these examples are Spatial Challenge with SLA, ArcGIS Online for Schools, uh, an MOE initiative for uh, innovation technology, and of course, also platform for innovation with uh, polytechnics and universities like Virtual NUS that you saw in the previous presentation before. But we feel that we can do more with businesses and startups. So in 2016, uh, we started exploring, and you may have seen Zachary Wang from last year's conference. Neuron Mobility is the first, is the world first automated charging system for e-mobility devices, such as e-scooters. And this year, Neuron became our first Jumpstart partner and launched their first product. I was just launched three months ago in collaboration with Ascenders and Singbridge. Neuron currently sees about 100 charging stations and 50 e-scooters located at the heart of Singapore. And have strategically launched their product trials in just a few locations since its inception. So why just a few locations, you ask? Neuron leverages on location analytics, optimizing distribution of their scooters and charging stations, which helps them fully capitalize on users' demand and launch their products at locations optimized for maximum outreach. With just 50 scooters, Neuron is today seeing user signups upwards of 3,500 users in the last three months, and that's about 40, 40 users riding on an e-scooter uh, a day. On the next quarter of the year, now we're going to be seeing another 15 more locations, and in November, Neuron is going to launch their first Australian trial. Okay, so that was an update uh, of our work with Neuron, and I'm going to dive into a little bit more about the program. So we spent the last few months working tirelessly to structure a program that could help support local businesses and startups innovate and contribute to a smarter Singapore through the use of Esri's open platform. In the following slides, I'm going to share with you how the program can help add value to our partners and their users. So what are the objectives of the Innovation and Jumpstart program? We aim to provide startups and businesses with, enabling, with an enabling platform that allows them to innovate and contribute to the realization of a smarter nation. Uh, we also want to help establish connections by, tapping, tapping, uh, by helping them tap on Esri's existing network of customer base, thriving uh, partners network, as well as co-marketing activities. Now, lastly, we wish to support Singapore's continuing growth as a hotbed for experimentation, innovation, and design of dis disruptive technologies and services. And the program breaks down into two groups, innovation partners and jumpstart partners. Now, today's entrepreneurs need more than just startup funds and an innovative product to thrive. By factoring in location, their business intelligence can be turned into more valuable, actionable information. A quote by Jack Dangerman himself, president of Esri. Now, with all the buzz around funds that's helping startups to scale and go to market, it is often easy to forget how, how early stages of building your product, innovation is the most important thing to actually uh, let your product uh, go for a long run. And we are committed to help these emerging businesses jumpstart their product development with the help of, of the location factor. So for jumpstart partners, they are startups and emerging businesses who are founded in less than three years and have an annual revenue of less than a million dollars as a product with a location factor in its intent. But being a Jumpstart partner, you are eligible for more than just technology. Now, Esri is committed to provide 250,000 worth of not just software, but technical training and advisory where the team of consultants can impart their knowledge and know-hows to help our partners get up to speed as soon as possible. 
Uh, besides that, eligible partners will also be uh, enrolled in ESRI's Emerging Business Partner Program, which offers a local and global network of collaborations and co-marketing co -marketing opportunities. And for partners who, are, who have a promising business and innovative products, there will also be opportunities to access funds to scale. And this year, I'd like to introduce Scuba, a car and bus pooling app for students. Uh, Scuba has recently joined us as a Jumpstart partner about two weeks ago. And during this time, has done some interesting work to front load their route optimization process with the use of geospatial technology. Now, I'll let Tony Tay, uh, CEO of Scuba, explain more. Tony? Thank you, Sean. Thank you, S3, for having Scuba on board the uh, S3 startup program. Um, I'll first run through the, uh, some of the challenges that uh, we see in the school transport that Scuba is trying to address. First, of course, is a limited transport option that schools have. Uh, they typically have a one-to-one -one relationship with a, a bus company, and they kind of outsource most of the uh, routing and uh, the other transport services to the operator that they are using. Um, some, sometimes it leads to long detours because of the insufficient number of uh, uh, buses as well as the students on board. So the, the buses has to go through a long detour to pick up many students along the point to fetch them to school, right? So under utilizations of asset in certain countries um, or even in Singapore, some of the school owns uh, their own school buses. And in that scenario, the, the school bus only ferries the kids from home to school and school to home. So there's only two utilization a day that results in under utilizations of the assets, right? So, um, of course, wastage of capacity. Um, in an event when the routes are not fully optimized properly, uh, you will see that the, the school buses are not fully packed, and um, that results in a, a lot of wastage and results in high cost to both the operators as well as the schools. And, of course, uh, the, third, the, the final challenge is that the child's um, location are not very visible to the parents. Once your child leaves the house on board of the school bus, that's where the kind of uh, uh, the next thing you know is that they are probably in school or wh whether they are not in school, right? So with Scuba, uh, basically we try to provide the school with uh, multiple options of transport instead of just school buses. Uh, more options uh, help them to optimize the route for uh, uh, to optimize the route so that they go for lesser detours, uh, maximize the capacity of uh, allowing the oper operators to deploy the vehicles with the right capacity size. So you have a small crowd, you probably deploy a smaller vehicles and a larger 40-seater uh, vehicles for a larger cr crowd. So uh, allows the parents to use it, uh, consume it as a service. Um, that will allow better management of the cost. And of course, uh, with the mobile app, the parents visible has the visibility to track, um, has a visibility to monitor the child's uh, location and whereabouts. Okay, so basically, Scuba works uh, in a way to uh, in our uh, platform. We provides the schools and the operators with the ability to uh, consume school transport as service. We offer uh, carpooling services. Uh, the app allows the matching of uh, parent uh, heading in the same direction, picking up students, uh, going to the same school or in the same locale. Bus pooling allows the bus operator to maximize the capacity of the school. Uh, school bus by picking up students from a similar location heading to schools in the same zone. As well as uh, if the school provides uh, private school transport, they can manage both the carpooling of parents coming to school as well as pri private operators and bus pooling. Okay. So for uh, it in in the use case, basically, when we are using, we are happy to be able to be on board the S3 program to leverage S3 on two parts. Uh, one is, of course, traditionally, the transport operator tends to measure uh, the, the uh, straight line radii, using straight line radii planning to, to plan for their uh, distance as well as the costing. So in this scenario, they use the concentric circles model to do the planning. And uh, with S3, we are able to do the drive time al analysis um, using the drive time polygon to allow them to look at the drive time interval between the different zones. 
as well as make use of the uh, the second part is to make use of the operation dashboard uh, to show the real time traffic condition, a layer of the real time traffic condition, so that both the uh, parents as well as the school operators get a single view from the uh, of truth about the traffic conditions, so they know exactly where's the whereabouts of their of their children, and at the same time looking at attendance and real time traffic conditions is updated into the uh, dashboard. Okay. So uh, I'll hand back over to, to Sean. Thanks, Tony. That's it. Yep. So we're excited to see how Scuba can make use of uh, location analytics to help them gain more insights on the data and uh, efficient route optimization for their pre-booking and on-demand bookings. So I'm just going to go into uh, the innovation partners right now. Right, so in innovation partners basically are businesses they are already serving and providing tremendous value to existing, uh, existing market and existing users who are looking for opportunities to reinvent ca new categories or beef up their products using spatial capability or using spatial analytics to derive greater insights for their users and also are as passionate as we are to collaboratively contribute back to a smarter Singapore. Now, example of uh, innovation partner is F4 Maps. They are a state-of-the-art mobile web-based 3D technology that is, that is already supporting one of the biggest uh, uh, real estate platforms in France. Now, before I end, I just want to re-emphasize why uh, the programs are possible because of ESRI's open vision. Now, ArcGIS was built as an open platform because we believe in your innovation and we realize that most, most of all, you need the technology that's reliable and moves with you at a modern pace. As this platform independent approach ensures interoperability for open standards, direct read of common non-ESRI formats or industry collaborations. ArcGIS encourages an environment for innovation where everyone can share their unique ideas with the community. You can use, modify and customize any of ESRI's open source projects for, for desktop, web, mobile, and share back to grow a new solution to collaborate with, with your peers. Now, if you're thinking of creating something that can make a difference, or know of anyone who's looking to create and contribute back to Singapore's Smart Nation initiatives, do write to us. We'd like to hear from you. And with that, thank you for your time. I'll be at the ESRI Singapore booth, so do come say hello. <laughs>